wanted to do a quick video just to demonstrate the um, Obanoff's heavy duty LP and that's the, uh, the heavy duty leather protection. Um, you know I can't tell you much about it other than the fact that I found this through Wrangler Star Channel and he uses, Cody uses that quite a bit. Um, and that uh, it's supposedly one of the better, if not the best, leather care protection uh, oil, or it's not even an oil, it's, it's more of a, a water-based product, I believe. But um, you can go to their website, I'll put a link to their website below. I'm not getting compensated in any way to share this with you, but since I'm including some of this in the um, Pay It Forward giveaway that I'm running right now, I thought I'd do a, a real quick review on it and show you what it's like. <clears throat> now, um, I'm going to start here with with one boot. They, they give you this as well. It's just a a little uh, little brush, and uh, it's real easy to to apply. I really don't think there's a whole lot to it, <clears throat> other than to rub it in. And you can see here, I've already I did this yesterday evening because I wanted you to see. You know what it looks like after it's set for a while, um, and you can see the difference there. These shoes have never been treated. It's the shoes that I've had for oh gosh, uh, four or five years. They're Wolverines, just cheap Wolverines, and they've never had any treatment on them at all. And it's really it's my fault. I should have treated them a long time ago, and um, it's almost embarrassing to tell you that frankly, because I'm a fan of taking care of your, your items, taking care of what, what you've been given, and, and um, uh, being a good steward for uh, what God has entrusted us to take care of. And, um, you know, this goes with, with everything that we have, but in this case, this leather care product is just absolutely amazing. You know, I'm just lightly rubbing it in, um, and then over time, I will let it set, and uh, it soaks in so nicely. I mean, you can see here, there's no product left on the surface like what you see on the tip of my boot. There's no product left on the surface at all, and I'm just really impressed. And I've just worked it in, kind of in a circular motion. Now, if you're looking for more information on the how to apply it and want to learn more about Obanos, you can go to their website and they have some how to videos to teach you how to apply their product. And um, it's been a while since I watched the video, so you know maybe I'm doing this all wrong. But <clears throat> this video isn't a how to apply video. This video is more just to give you a, a quick. Uh, down and dirty understanding of what the product is and what it's like to work with. And um, so here you can see the difference. And, you know, I think this is just amazing um, looking at these shoes and or boots and, and being able to see you know, how well this stuff works. I mean, it's this leather is just supple and soft and... Um, I'm just really impressed, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably continue to be a customer for years uh, just because of how nicely um, that stuff is, is put together and how nicely it goes on. And, you know, even here, it's been setting for, what, two or three minutes? There's no product left on the surface. It's already soaking in uh, compared to right here. I thought I'd do one other thing that would, might also add some value to a, a video like this. Um, I have had this belt for probably 10 years or so, and you can see it has, you know, wear marks on it. It's not in that great a condition. The surface uh, of the leather has been scraped off. And over here, between this section and this section between my fingers I have treated it with uh, some of the LP from Obanoffs and I, I did not treat uh, the surface here but I treated the back side and it is so much more flexible I don't know if you can see that 
but it is so much more flexible than this section um, of the belt. So I thought you'd find this to be informative. Now, the way I treated this is I just uh, got some on my fingers, rub my fingers like this, and it heats it up, and it makes it very uh, all runny. See how that is? And uh, I just rubbed it in like this. And I think that is the best way to put it on your belt so you don't get too much of a... a um, thick layer on there and that way it's not getting on your clothes and you'll see you know how much uh, more pliable this belt becomes so I'm not going to take any any longer here uh, on the video but if you found this video to be helpful informative or you know entertaining at the very least please don't forget to subscribe and remember to uh, Smile for a stranger today. You'll both be glad you did. God bless you all. Merry Christmas.